your traditional terms and conditions are worth diddly squat when the technology changes all the things that you took for granted when you took to, when you started your career crumble like dust if some invention some technological innovation comes along that can be used to find a loophole in what you thought was a cast iron contract okay so that's lesson number one lesson number two is the, the, the big, because it comes from the west coast of America, it's Silicon Valley. I've always fallen into the trap of thinking that they were all righteous dudes. Do you know what I mean? That they, they were going to be kind of hippies and they were going to be kind of uh, uh, on the side of the people, man. Yeah, cool. And you look at someone like Mark Zuckerberg and you think, how the hell could you ever have thought that this was going to be some sort of latter day peace and love movement they're just as rapacious and greedy as everybody else it's a bit like the idea that because he wears a jumper instead of a suit richard branson is somehow less of a rampant capitalist than um than a bloke in a chalk stripe suit and a bowler hat it, it, it's just perception and because they were all from the west coast they thought hey we're going to be fine it's going to be technology for the people al gore did something incredible with solar panels you need to watch his last film to dig this one out properly in the, when it looked like a big climate deal that they were going to sign, maybe in the Paris Agreement, but it, it, it was a big deal about to be signed. And India were going in the opposite direction. They were about to start opening oil refineries or something gross like that. And Al Gore phoned up one of his mates in Silicon Valley, who was at the forefront of the solar panel industry, and, and just said, look, can we, can we just do this out of the goodness of our hearts? Can we, can we park the profit motivation and, and literally try to save the planet by promising them umpteen solar panels and, and the guy came through i may have slightly misremembered that I, I, I saw the film last year and al gore of course was interviewed in this studio